a voice of one preaching in the wilderness. Condemning folks is a waste of time. We telling them to get saved before it's too late and they go to hell. Brother Carl is in a joyous celebration in the salvation of the gospel of Jesus Christ because I know without a shadow of a doubt that I was going to hell. Jesus Christ showed me in a vision all my sins then he took me to the scriptures to confirm it. Psalms 711. God is angry with the wicked every day. Psalms 917. The wicked shall be turned into hell. But then it happened. The goodness of God led me to repentance. Romans. Too far. And then the Lord gave me a new heart and turned me into another man. 1 Samuel 10, 6, 9. Later, a brother in the Lord told me when I left the church in 1985 that he and many other saints were disappointed, let down, and heartbroken. My heart goes out to those souls that were depending on Carl for anything. Here's the bigger picture though. Carl was going to hell, but Jesus Christ rescued me. So I ain't focused on none of that. You can't cry over spilt milk. The Lord showed me that all those years before 1985 that I was in the church, that I wasn't saved anyway. I was preaching without the Holy Ghost, with man's approval and credentials, without repentance in my water baptism, unable to live what I was preaching. It is written in Ezekiel 33, 15 and 16. If the wicked Restore the pledge. Give again that he had robbed. Walk in the statues of life without committing iniquity. He shall surely live. He shall not die. None of his sins that he have committed shall be mentioned unto him. He hath done that which is lawful and right, he shall surely live. This is why Brother Carl is joyous. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. And celebrating the precious gospel of Jesus Christ because today I can testify that I'm born again, a repentant soul baptized in the name of Jesus Christ filled with the Holy Ghost, speaking with new tongues, living this thing. Hallelujah. Woo! Thank you, Jesus. If there are souls that are disappointed about what I did in leaving the church in the 80s, I say this. Rejoice with me. Hallelujah. Like the woman that found her coin. Like the shepherd that found his lost sheep. Luke 15, 6 and 9. The father told the eldest son that was angry because the younger son had devoured his father's living wealth with harlots. And now the whole house was rejoicing. But the father reminded the eldest son, you are forever with me and all that I have is yours for his continued faithfulness. But it's right that we celebrate because your brother was dead, but now he is alive. Thank you, Jesus. This is why the Lord Jesus Christ has got me preaching in the wilderness, but now I'm living every jot and tittle of Holy Scripture that I'm preaching 
to the disobedient, the lost, and sinners. Jesus Christ ain't condemning nobody because the children of disobedience are already on their way to hell. He that believeth not is condemned already. And this is the condemnation that light has come into the world. But men love darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil. John 3, 18 and 19. Jesus Christ is come to save you. This is why he says, neither do I condemn you. Go sin no more. So repent and stop sinning. Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Acts 2.38 Brother Carl is a witness and none of your sins that you committed will be mentioned unto you. Hallelujah! Ezekiel 33.16 What a deal! <laughs> Thank you Jesus! What a deal! Repent and believe the gospel. Amen and amen.